Today I'm going to show you how to do GPU mining on a Mac. Uh, this will also work on a PC and that's why I'm using a PC. I don't really have access to a Mac to record with. So uh, everything I do here it's pretty much identical for a Mac. So um, the GPU mining is a lot faster than CPU mining is going to be, especially on some of the nicer Macs. Uh, like I've seen one with a 6770 uh, Radeon card, a uh, 6770M actually, pulling 100 mega hashes, which is a lot because this has a uh, an NVIDIA GPU that's a pretty powerful one that is only doing 20 megs. So that's, that's really fast, so they're pretty good miners. Um, all you're going to need to do is uh, first of all download this program. You're going to need Java uh, 6, I think, or newer. If you don't have it, then when you run this, it'll tell you that you still need it and it'll actually prompt you to download it so uh, if you don't have it it'll tell you. So you're just gonna go to this page I'll have a link to it in the description and then you're gonna click newest binary to download it and it's gonna download this zip file called diablominer.zip and just save it um, and then once it's downloaded uh, go to the place it downloaded. I already have it downloaded to this. I have a special miners folder just for miners. And so I have it right here, diablominer.zip. And once you have it downloaded, then you're just going to need to extract it on a Mac. Hold control and click on it to get the extract option. And then just hit extract files and basically just hit OK. And it'll extract to the same folder you're in. Uh, what you're also going to need is a, uh, a mining pool account. Uh, like I use Slush and I really like it. It's mining.bitcoin.cz. I'll put a link to it in the uh, description. You can use any uh, any mining pool, but I like this one and this is the one I'm going to show you in the tutorial. But it doesn't really matter which one you, do, you use. This is the important address that you're going to need right here. That's the same for everyone that uses uh, Slush. So. Um, and then once you create your account, you're also going to need this information. Like this is a username and password for a uh, for a mining account that uh, that you can mine with. Like you actually put it into the client, and that specifically hooks up to this one. So then you can see the hash rate on here. And uh, then um, you're also then you go into this folder here and that you, this is the extracted folder, like I extracted that and it gave me this folder. And in here you have a few things. If you're on Windows, then this is the one that's important to you, but you can't just double click on it and run it. it you have to run it through the command prompt and that's the part that really confuses some people. So I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Uh, this is the one that you use if you're on Windows, but if you're on OS X, then you use this one. And it's like a Java file, so it's a little confusing how it works exactly, but I'll show you. Uh, so when you're on your Mac, then after you have it downloaded and know what fo a folder it's in, like uh, the path that I have is C users, then my username, downloads, then I have miners, Diablo. So this is the path it's in. If you uh, want, you can just drag this folder, the uh, the Diablo miner. You can drag it to your desktop, and then it's really easy to find through the command prompt. Or you can leave it in downloads. Those are the two that are usually easiest for you to like, really find it in the command prompt. Uh, so once you know where it is, then on a Mac you're going to go up to Go, and then or it's this, the same tab that has applications on it that's up at the top all the time. And then uh, on that list there's going to be an option that says Utilities, and you're going to click on that one. And then in that Utilities folder there's going to be a option that's Terminal. That's the, like, Mac version of, of the Windows command prompt. Like they're both kind of the very similar. Some of the commands are even the same. So when I do CMD here and I get this box, your box is going to look kind of like this. It's going to be the same idea where uh, where like it's going to have the path. So I'm on C and then users and then this is my incredibly long and annoying username. And then so like basically this is a folder that's inside of this folder which is inside of this folder. So we need to get to the folder that has the Diablo miner in it. And I have it in my downloads folder so I type in CD downloads and you're gonna have it in this uh, if if you just open up the terminal then it should be in this exact same place and you should be able to do just CD downloads and that'll take you to your downloads folder unless you put it on your desktop and then you would do CD desktop. Uh, but if you still have it in your downloads folder 
and you do CD downloads and then I have it in my miners folder that's in my downloads you're just probably gonna have it just in your just gonna have uh, like in your downloads you would have extracted it as Diablo Miner so instead of putting miners here you would put Diablo Miner but that's gonna be my next step because it's in my miners folder so CD miners and then uh, in on Mac it is important that you put a capital here like if on this one I didn't put a capital here because it's Windows they don't care but on a Mac it does matter so if you just put miners and it's really uppercase miners it won't take you there so uh, that's something to watch out for now at this point you're probably gonna have the exact same commands as me and uh, there's something that'll show you all the folders that are contained in your current folder on Windows it's DIR but on a Mac it would be LS like LS just like that um, you can see it's not a recognized on Windows. That's one of the very few differences between the terminals. So, um, so if you type in ls, it's going to give you a list just like this one. And I want to go into the Diablo Miner folder because that's that's where the actual Diablo Miner is. So I type cd Diablo Miner, and then I can do ls or in my case dir again to see what's in there. And I want to go into this Diablo Miner folder. I don't. I don't know why they double package it like that, but so then uh, CD Diablo Miner, and make sure you're putting the capitals in correctly, otherwise it won't go to the folder. So it'll say that it can't find it. So then here is the folder that actually has all the stuff. So I'm going to be doing Diablo Miner hyphen Windows.exe because I'm running on Windows. The only difference for you is if you're on Mac is instead you're going to type in Diablo Miner OS X dot SH, but you're going to pass it the same commands I'm going to. So then uh, you have to make sure that you have your stuff from your mining pool and I'm going to use this uh, information right here. This is the port and this is the uh, URL I'm connecting to. And if you go to that uh, that folder that has Diablo Miner in it, it actually has a uh, a readme in there that tells you the commands. Uh, it's a little confusing if you don't know what you're doing, so I'm going to show you exactly what you need. But uh, the important commands are these ones: dash u, dash p, dash o, and dash r, because those are your username from your pool. That's this information right here. And uh, dash o is your host, which is api.bitcoin.cz and then dash, uh, dash r is the port which is this 8332 so then you're gonna uh, we have to put in each of these into the command prompt so on your terminal you're gonna type in if you're on a Mac you're gonna type in Diablo Miner dash osx dot sh and you need to put in the capitals and everything since I'm on Windows I'm gonna do Diablo Miner dash Windows exe and then you put in the dash and the command so dash u is for the username so pascal four ones and a zero dot uh, guest I set this one up for like for doing these videos so uh, dot dash guest and then you can put in dash p to put in the password and so this one's dot guest and then guest is also the password So then put in the password is P-A-S-C-A-L, or sorry, not the password's guest. <laughs> um, and then you would put in the, uh, the dash O and the host. So dash O and then api.bitcoin.cz is the host. And then you have to put in dash R for the port, and that's 8332. So that might be... these commands, uh, these last two might be different on a different uh, mining pool, so uh, that's why I would suggest using slush, because then you know exactly how to set it up, because this stuff is going to be exactly the same, it's just your username and password would be different. So um, Then on Windows, at this point, you can just hit enter, and it'll take care of everything. On Mac, it can sometimes freak out if you just leave it as this, so you're also going to need to put a dash W and then put 64. Uh, that's just a Mac thing on how it handles some stuff, so you can try it without it, but uh, I would, but it might fail, and if it does, then you can put in the dash W64, and then it should fix it. So then at this point, you can just hit enter, and it'll start running through the command. So 
because I have an NVIDIA CPU, GPU, it's going to use CUDA. If you have an ATI GPU, then it's going to use OpenCL, which ATI ones are usually much better for mining than uh, NVIDIA ones are, but CUDA is not bad. So you can see I'm getting 16.7 hashes right now, mega hashes, sorry, uh, but I've seen it up to like 21. I think my max I've ever gotten was like 25, and that just kind of depends on how hot it's running at that time and if it's doing anything else GPU intensive. Since I'm recording the screen right now, that's taking up a little bit, but now you can see it's even jumped up to 20. So, and anytime you want to exit, then you just hit Control C, and uh, it'll stop the miner. And so if you just wanted to change one little thing about it, then you can hit the up arrow, and it'll bring your last command, and then you can, like, if I wanted to get rid of that dash W part, then I could hit enter again, and it'll just run it again. So uh, if you have any questions, just leave a, leave a comment. Uh, if there's anything left out that uh, you're confused about, just leave a comment as well. I hope to be able to update this to actually record on a Mac at some point, but this should work exactly the same for you. And uh, yeah, it's a really good way to mine.